Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 4. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, since the last uh, play session, I've discovered that what I am playing here is the Automatron DLC. I did not realize that uh, uh, one of my uh, viewers actually purchased um, the, I guess it's the Season Pass pack or the DLC pack. I don't know. He purchased for purchased. <laughs> I can't even talk. Purchased it for me a while back, and. Um, I didn't know that the DLC was even out yet. So anyway, what we're doing now is uh, we're playing Automatron, and normally I prefer to play the DLCs in a separate playthrough, uh, but since I've already started it and we're so far into it, we'll just uh, go ahead and finish out this Automatron storyline, and then we'll return back to the, uh, the stock Fallout 4, as it were. Um, <laughs> so we're here in this uh, General Atomics factory, and what we're doing is, well, we're just investigating it. Uh, Ada, this is that robot that we see walking around in front of us here. Ada said she saw the mechanist's robots at the General Atomics factory. I may be able to find something there to help us discover where the mechanist is. And the mechanist is, um, well, the bad guy, I guess, who is sending out all these uh, robots. That say they're peaceful, but they're really not. You have anything you want to say, Ada? Speak to me. Talk. Hey, Ada. Yes, sir. Oh, really? I, that's I could just simply keep asking it to self-destruct or to disable its personality. Well, I don't want to do either one of those. All right. All right. I thought we could get to know Ada a little bit better, but I guess not. So I already cleared out this room over here. Uh, have not been upstairs yet, but there is still areas downstairs that I want to take a look at before I go upstairs, so let's do that. I guess this is somewhere back here is our goal. We've got a door here that I don't see any way to open. Let's check out these restrooms. Oh, that was gruesome. Get some medics. Medics didn't help him. Soap. Soap has something in it I need. Nuka cherry. Nothing like sitting on the toilet having a soft drink. Alright, that's kind of gross. I think it is. I don't know. Maybe it's not gross, but I think it is. Is this that same Boston Bugle that we always see? Yeah. It's always the same issue. Which makes sense, that was the issue from the day the bombs dropped. Gwyneth Stout, I don't think I need that. Oh, another dude. Buff out and some pre-war money. Mm. What a way to go. A toilet at your workplace. No thank you. See what's up here. Take those. Nothing in the fridge. Take the flip lighter and the coffee cup and the dirty ashtray and the coffee cup and the battered clipboard. So we could scrap those. Ooh, two millimeter electromagnetic cartridge. It's pretty rare ammo. Oh, let's unlock this door. Yeah. We are an expert. <laughs> Hopefully the reward will be worth all that effort. That's funny. Oh, this was a neat office. Opened up to a little walkway out here. Look over the factory. Pretty neat. A bowling pin. League bowling pin and bowling pin. Okay. I don't know why they decided to make that distinction. Ooh, wonder glue and a silver locket. I don't need the screwdriver. Battered clipboard. General Atomics ID card. Can we look at it? I'm gonna look at it. Miscellaneous. General Atomics ID card. Inspect. Oh, it's just a... It's just a generic card. It doesn't have any... Interesting inf information on it, sadly. Well, I think it's sad. 
Let's check out Kincaid's terminal. Oh, for crying out loud, I can't do it while I'm in power armor. Let's get out of the power armor. Okay. Personal logs. Job assignment. Congratulations on your promotion, Mr. Kincaid. We hope your transition from the factory goes smoothly. As the on-site human supervisor of the General Atomics Galleria, you will be helping to pioneer a new shopping experience for the expanding General Atomics customer base. We assure you that this will be a comfortable job and require very little effort or stress on your part. Your responsibility will be to simply observe the operations of the completely automated staff. We expect very little intervent intervention. Man, who, who proofread this? this game or did they like leave this kind of stuff in here because you know people people make typos we expect very little intervention will be required on your part as the robotics staff has undergone strenuous testing before being deployed there thank you for your service to the company general atomics corporate and this guy says thanks for nothing i put in years of my life to keep this factory running and this is how they treat me I'm supposed to babysit a bunch of robots while they play shop? This is ridiculous. They don't think I can see what this really is? Ageism. I can still do my job as well as any 25 year old, but they all tell me, Mr. Kincaid, it's time to retire. Mr. Kincaid, you should travel. Mr. Kincaid, you should spend more time with your family. Well, I don't want to do any of those things. I want to sit here and run this factory like I have been for years. This job will kill me. I am literally going to be bored to death, and it will be their fault. Poor Mr. Kincaid. I don't know where Ada went. Can Ada not walk up steps? Uh, okay, I'm trying to. There we go. Enter the power armor. Okay, let's keep exploring up here. Hopefully we'll be able to get over there. Yeah, probably from down there. Let's keep exploring this part of the building. Oh, Pre-war money. Ah, found you. Uh, let's see, I do not need an antique globe. Why are the globes always antique? You know, they still make modern globes. Telephone. Pack of cigs, jet, medex, bloat fly meat. That's an interesting lunch. Uh, I don't need any of that stuff. Look at that beautiful painting. Mm -mm -mm. Art. We've never been to this particular factory before, but once Jackson spotted the mechanist robots, he turned us around immediately. Okay. Thanks. So we got a carton, about a clipboard, flip lighter. Look at this cute little girl. Look at her. Isn't she cute? Telephone. Typewriter. Uh, oh. Mentats and Tesla Science. What is plasma anyway? Energy weapons permanently inflict plus 5% critical damage. I'll be taking that. So I wonder about this place. Um, I mean, uh, I imagine this building was here before the DLC. Could we have entered this building before the DLC? And if we had, what would we have found? I wish I knew. Maybe, I don't know. I think I can uninstall the DLC and check it out. Maybe after I finish my playthrough, but I doubt I'll go through the trouble. So if you guys played this game and you came into this building before the DLC, and you remember what was in here, let me know. I'd like to know what this what you would have found in here. Pre-DLC. All right, let's go up these stairs here. So I know that um, there is a door back here. I have not forgotten about this. This door right here. I have not forgotten about this, but I'm saving that for last. 
So let's go upstairs and see if there's anything cool up here to check out. Oh, it even goes even higher. Let's see. Uh, cleaner, antifreeze, wonder glue, I'll take that. Uh, oh wow, there's another... Oh, interesting. We can get in here this way as well. Instead of going through that door, we can just walk up here and get in that way. Oh boy, this place is looking bigger than I thought it was going to be. But that's okay. That's okay. We've got our power armor on. And, um... That means we can carry a lot of stuff. That's what I'm most concerned with. How much stuff I can carry. I don't really care about the extra protection provided by the power armor. I just want to be able to carry more stuff. Oh, the plasma cartridges. Don't think I could get underneath of there. Even without the power armor, I don't think I could make it under there. Well, let's go down here and see if we can unlock this door. I'd rather do it this way. Get a little bit of uh, experience before opening the door. I mean, I could, I could walk here and enter that way, as we just found out. Coolant cap. I don't know if I need this stuff or not. So apparently, we are going to have the opportunity to craft our own robots now that we have some kind of robotic workbench. And I wonder how that's going to fit in with the rest of the game. So we craft these robots. Does that mean they're going to be available to me for the rest of the game? And then now the rest of my game is going to be changed maybe drastically because I've played the DLC at this point? I don't know, man. I guess we'll find out. Let's unlock this terminal. Cork one likeness. Call zero likenesses. Boys. There we go. We're in. Security door control. Open door. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, ah, really? There's really not much to it. What are we going to find in here? Swarm bot, wary beep. I don't see a swarm bot. Chemistry jar, duct tape, cigarette carton. Another wary beep from a swarm bot. Duct tape, pulse grenade, and some rat away. Ooh, look at all these battered clipboards in here. Aluminum canister. Alright. Oh boy, here we go. We're getting close to trouble, I feel. Bobby pin box. Wonder glue. I'm sorry, Ada. I'm sorry you had to go through this. Let's hit the save button here. So, we got another door over here. Oh, 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 oh. It's hostile. Uh oh. Test area. All right. A fuse. Oh, we got some radioactivity going on over here. Fused oil can. We'll take that. Let's help ourselves to stem pack right away and purified water. All right. QA department terminal. <laughs> okay, we'll go in there. Just a moment. want to see what else is in this place. It's uh, quite large, really. Yeah. Hey, look. Clipboard. Oh, gosh. How disrespectful of me. Just knock that skeleton off of there. Just, uh, I don't need any of that stuff. Toolbox? Let's unlock this toolbox. I broke one of my bobby pins. I wonder how many bobby pins I really have. Nice. Duct tape, gold watch. Don't need the screwdriver. You can keep that. Duct tape. Nice. This is a neat looking terminal. 
Oh boy, I'm gonna get lost. Place is starting to get confusing. Oh, there's even another level. Wonderful. Ooh. Hmm. Quantum Robo Brain? <laughs> level 52? Um, we're only like level 34 or 35, I believe. Oh, golly. Man, I really, really want to try to um, complete this DLC. But, oh man, I might have to spread the DLC out. If that guy's level 52. I don't know. Let's we'll see if we can figure something out. Oh, come on. Alright. Got it. Got it. Let's see what's going on in here. Well, stim packing right away, and good look, a battered clipboard. Uh, nothing in the lockers, nothing in the cabinet. Don't need any of that. Uh, wonder glue. Take that. Here's a cap stash. Silver pocket watch. Bobby pin. Let's get another pair of sunglasses. We can give another pair to one of our traveling companions. Um, what's going on here? There we go. Oh, come on. It's a novice lock. Jeez! Man. Better be something good in here. Oh, there's a lot in here. I don't know how they crammed it all in this safe. Rounds, 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 rounds. Lighter pistol, plasma cartridges. And pre-war money. Hey, Ada. Hi. I'd be happy to help if I can. Let's see. take a look at what you've got. Let's see. Can you wear sunglasses? <laughs> Probably not. No, she can't wear sunglasses. That was silly of me to think that she could wear sunglasses. <laughs> what was I thinking? She doesn't even have eyes. Oh, boy. Is that it right there? The quantum robo brain? It's right there. Kind of sticking through the wall. Okay, it doesn't look like I shoot through the door. Cybermech iBot. <laughs> Is it hitting me? Oh, well, so help me if you go in there, Ada. Don't you go in there. Oh, yeah, he's hitting me somehow. Wow, okay. They can shoot through that door. Great. Uh, I'm gonna take the fusion cell and the Assaultron head. And, whoa, look at this cool stuff. Rounds a freezing revolutionary sword. That sounds like something a robot would carry. Does 10 points cryo damage and will freeze targets on critical hits. Okay. Protectron front actuated frame and a vacuum tube. Okay. Anything else cool up here? look like it. So, somehow that stupid robot was able to shoot me through the door. I mean, if I could shoot through the door here, um, I might be able to pick him off slowly, but um, I don't think I'm doing any damage to the swarm bot, you know, through this door, even though they could shoot me through the door. Which blows. This, um... Gosh, this is going to be scary here. So, can you shoot me through the door? So now it's not working through the door. Oh look, I'm doing damage to it. Oh look at this! Yeah, I'm going to cheese this thing. Get out of the way, other robot. Please believe me when I say I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> what happened? I was doing damage to it. What, what happened? Get out of the way, Cybermech iBot. Oh yeah. They could have programmed me to love, to forgive, but no. <laughs> oh yes. 
I got the quantum robo brain. <laughs> Completed. Investigate General Atomics Factory. Search the robo brain. Oh, like you wouldn't have done the same thing. So we know there's a swarm bot in here that we need to deal with. Where did he go? I don't know where he went. The Cybermech eye bot is way back in. He's he's actually in a different room. It looks like. So what happens if we go enter from downstairs where we saw that other door? What if we do that? Well, hmm. Uh, um. Let me see. What does this one say? What does this terminal say? This is just a terminal. Security door control. Okay, so we could unlock the security doors from there. Well, let's see what happens if we go downstairs to the terminal down there. Did I not come in here? Yeah, I did. I remember. I must have just missed that one piece. Oh, oh, there's more up here. Let's go up here. Does this take us to the roof, maybe? Nope. Wow, that's just another la layer. Okay. Another level. Let's see what's going on in here. Gas canister. Nothing in the metal box. A gear. I don't know if I need that or not. Um. Wow, I could have come up here and sniped him as well. Shut up. Uh huh. Oh, it's so peaceful and quiet in here now. Okay, so that's even a, yet another way we could take to get in there. I'm not gonna do that just yet. Here's another terminal and a clipboard and bloat fly meat and dirty water. Uh, yeah, I thought maybe there'd be a fusion core plugged into that thing, but it doesn't look like it. Can't do that while in power armor. All right, let's exit the power armor. Really don't want to do that, but. I'll play by your rules, game. Let's unlock this expert terminal. 